it's Shelly J and I'm back with another video. So I know you guys have been waiting for this grad update, grad Q&A, whatever, and school has been eating me up, okay? That's why it's taken so long for me to give you that guys' videos, but here it is. So grad school is not for the week, okay? It is not for the week. I have always been somebody that was like good at school and all that other stuff and it's just like from the first week scratch that from the first day that I was in grad school like enrolled my first live session because I'm in the online program if you guys don't know I'm in, in NYU's online speech program so it's like NYU at speech is their little like thing like that's their name like how you identify the program but yes so I'm in grad school for speech speech pathology and um that's the program that I'm in at NYU so from my first live session like my zoom meeting or whatever um class has like they're like talking and I'm like yeah I'm already behind like that's just what it is like it's just so fast paced I don't know if it's just NYU that's like this you know <sighs> gotta represent um I don't know if it's just NYU that's like this I'm pretty sure all grad programs are pretty fast paced like definitely compared to undergrad they're way more like intense but yeah it's just really been like back to back to back to back to back and I went out of town um this past weekend I went to New York to visit some family and I will also be going back to Miami this week um Thursday I'll have a couple of vlogs dropping for you guys you guys might see this video after the vlogs matter of fact however whether you see them before or after if it's before come back for the vlog if it's after just go watch it right now after you finish this video but um yeah so I have been back to back with trips and I'm only in the third week of grad school so it's just like I've been like trying not to fall behind my work so I'm like I'm getting ahead for the week that I know I'm not like gonna be able to do work or whatever so that's just another thing that like has been like kind of like crazy hectic but I've been making it it's okay you know my first my classes are good like my teachers and my professors are super nice um, all of them have like they're super understanding because they kind of know like we're still under circumstance when it comes to COVID and things like that so they're super understanding super nice it's just a lot of work the courses are very information heavy very reading heavy like you got to make sure you know your stuff so I also have a for my first test coming up. So I will probably be recording a little video with you guys um, about how I study for my tests and things of that nature. However, we'll see what I get on the test before I come and give you guys study tips because I want you guys to pass, not to fail. But yeah, so that aside, let me go ahead and answer these questions for you guys. I have it um, written down in my notes. Okay, so um, what did I get my bachelor's in and what program am I doing at NYU? I just said that I got my, my bachelor's from Florida State University. I got a bachelor's in science um, for communication sciences and disorders also known as speech pathology. That was my major in undergrad. That's also my major in my grad program. Um, and so in the program that I'm doing at NYU is the speech pathology program um, that they offer online. What's one thing that I tell my past self going through college? Hmm. Hmm. What would I tell myself? If I had to do this thing again well I'm technically doing it again but this is another level so I'm not really doing it again but if I was to start all over um, go back to undergrad I would probably do more like get more like not involved but like do more things like outside of the house I was very much like a homebody throughout my college experience I know that's pretty stupid because it's just like you're in college party while out whatever but I wasn't really like that, so I kind of like stood home, stayed home a lot. I didn't really like um, 
go out to clubs and stuff that much because I'm not, I don't really like the club. It's not like super fun for me. It's, uh, it's like, eh. But maybe like that, go out more, you know, make more memories that I could be like, oh yeah, that was a wild night. Probably like, that's one thing. Um, how was the grad school application process? Well, that's kind of a story in itself. It's not a long story, but basically for my grad school process, I kind of started it early because I wanted to take a gap year. So I was looking into the programs that I wanted to like go to um, like way prior than when I was actually gonna apply. But I ended up inquiring on the NYU program and um, a grad advisor, like a uh, admissions counselor kind of thing, reached out to me and she would reach out to me like a lot. And, um, you know, I did tell her, I was like, yeah, I'm probably gonna take a gap year or whatever. But then when COVID had happened in like March-ish, she had reached out to me again, even though like when I had originally talked to her, I told her that I was gonna take a gap year. So when she reached out to me again, I kind of took it as a sign because I was thinking about like, maybe I should just, you know, not, do a gap year and go ahead and apply to school right now. So um, when she had reached out to me, I took it as a sign. So then I went ahead and I just went and was like, you know what, let me just do this. If I don't get accepted, I was gonna take gap year anyway. If I do get accepted, then you know, like it was meant to be. So I did my application. I had to do an essay, like a supplemental essay, which is like with a prompt that they provided. I had my personal essay, personal statement, kind of like what you're, what you want to do in the program and things like that. Like, why do you want to go there and why would you, why you would be a good fit as a student? You have to submit your resume. The actual application wasn't too much. It just kind of actually like the basic questions like, oh, where do you live? Your name, da da da, all this other stuff, highest level of education, all this other whatever. Then you submit like your um, transcripts, things of that nature. The transcript thing was like so much stress because I was submitting my transcript, but the transcript that I was submitting to them, they said they couldn't use for my decision because it didn't have my degree posted on it yet. So it didn't list that I had my bachelor's in speech pathology yet it just was listing like my grades from all the semesters or whatever so that was a little hectic but that got smoothed out oh my gosh that got smoothed out and um I was able to apply and I got my decision back pretty quickly relative like to how admissions go sometimes it takes like a real long period of time like six months or you get it back really quickly but the good thing about the online program at NYU like with speech or whatever um that I think that I believe the admissions are rolling so it's not like they have like one day that everybody gets their decision or whatever it's just kind of based on when you apply and when they get all the documents then they can send it to the admissions like what do they call that panel and then the panel goes over it and does whatever so I got my decision back maybe like six or so weeks after all they got all my paperwork or whatever and I ended up being good so you know obviously I got in and all here I am here I am in the program ready to my edges out but it's okay because we're gonna do good and it's not it's really honestly it's really not that bad it's just i've been so busy doing so much other stuff with life because you know you still have to live even though you're in school that's the problem if i could just do school and i have to worry about anything else then i'd be fine but it's just like you have so much other things going on and then school on top of that it's just like it's too much and it becomes too much also, if you guys realize I'm in a new, I got a new background, I'm in a new setting, I actually moved. That was another thing that happened my first week of grad school. I found out that I had to move um, on Tuesday and I had to move on Thursday and this is all in the same week. So I had like not even, just not enough time to get my life together. So I had school, moving um weekend plans all this other stuff i had so much stuff to do but here we are we made it we didn't die we survived and we managed to look cute while doing it <laughs> i do say so myself <laughs> but yeah so this is the new place or whatever uh it's not really like too decorated so it's not really much of anything to give you guys a tour but if you do want to see a college apartment tour or whatever, I will get something.
conjure something up for you guys just for you guys just for you but yeah so that was just pretty much my grad application process i went off on a tangent um what was the hardest class that i took in college well i'm not going to talk about my grad school classes right now because obviously i didn't finish the class to know like which one was the hardest and obviously i'm still in school but thus far in undergrad the hardest class that i took and i believe this was the worst grade that i got in no it's not it wasn't the worst grade the hardest class that i took in my undergrad at florida state was anatomy and physiology 2. amp1 was not that bad like i think i got like a b plus or something like that but amp2 was like it was the same professor everything like it was just so bad like i don't know if it was like my stress was different that semester or what but it was just not a good class for me like it was so hard and i didn't do that well in the class but it's okay i made it this far it didn't um change my life or anything but yeah definitely amp2 um what made me choose nyu i actually um NYU has been a school that's like been in my mind since like before I even went to like undergrad went through undergrad like I wanted to go to NYU and like Columbia like you know those big New York like schools or whatever because I was originally born in New York so I kind of wanted to like go back so like I didn't really get my time to like live in New York and do the city life stuff and all that other stuff so I did want to go to school in New York even though I like you know, obviously I ended up going to um, college in Florida, like, you know, I did Florida State, but I, when I was looking at my speech programs for grad school, they happened to come up as like schools that had online programs for my major. So I was like, oh my gosh, like, that's so crazy. Like NYU was on the list too, because it was a short list. It was like eight or nine schools that offered like online programs for my major or whatever and it was just like here's my handful picked as I choose or whatever and why you happen to be on the list so I was like is this another sign that I need to go back so that was an, that was one thing that really made me choose NYU as like you know a school and like I said here I am uh I think or what is, what is it bobcats or wildcats Something with cats. I gotta do better. I, I'm, I, it's only my third day out here. I gotta do better though. But that's pretty much all the questions. Yeah, that's pretty much all the questions that you guys had um, about grad school. Now, I do wanna start doing more videos about school-related things and maybe my major if you guys have any questions about that. So if you like have any questions about, you know, you want me to go more in depth about the grad school application process, um, essays, things like that. I'm not the best essay writer, so I won't even lie to you about that. But obviously, you know, I made it to, to colleges, you know what I mean? Like, it's Florida State and I'm at NYU like I can do something something but yeah if you guys want tips and tricks and whatever else you guys can think of when it comes to grad related things anything about speech pathology all that stuff you can leave it in the comments below you guys can reach out to me on Instagram which will also be on the description box below any social media that I have listed you guys can reach out to me ask me any questions and um, if you guys have anything else like any other ideas or whatever um related to videos that you guys would like to see me do like in my little grad school journey feel free to let me know i'm open to any like i'm really like an open book when it comes to like school and stuff like that because i love to help you guys get where you need to get in life because baby the school stuff is not for the week okay it's not for everybody and it's a little bit of a scam but it is definitely not for the week okay and if you out here doing the school stuff i commend you i commend you because i know the struggle 
but yes if you guys made it this far thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed my small little you know my short little spiel on grad school and this grad update and answering your questions that you guys asked me about it don't forget to like subscribe and comment below go ahead and watch those other videos don't forget to come back um see you guys in the next video cute Ew. Bam.